Yo, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy A03s on my left and we're going to jump right into comparing it to the Samsung Galaxy A23 on my right. But make sure you guys watch to the end of the video, subscribe and get notified for more videos just like this. I truly appreciate you coming through if you're brand new, but if you're already a part of the crew, salute. All right, guys, so let's compare what comes inside of each box for both devices. And for the A03S, you're going to get your wall brick and you're going to get your um, headphones inside here as well as your cord for Type-C charging. So you're going to get everything inside of that box for what you need to get started. Now, let's take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A23 right here inside of the box. You're also going to get your wall brick. You're going to get your pin removal tool and you're going to get your type c charging cord but they actually didn't include headphones so i just wanted to make sure you guys are 100 percent aware of that now we're going to jump into the build quality of both of these guys and when you look on the left hand side you're going to notice that both do have expansion for the storage dual sim cards so they're both going to have two nano slots as well as one for your sd card on inside of there right at the top, you do get um, a microphone at the top for both of these devices, which is cool because down below, you're also gonna get another mic. So they both have dual microphones for really good speaking quality. Headphone jacks as well as um, speakers gonna be down below. And then when you look to the right-hand side, you get the same button placement as well. So they both have side um, fingerprint sensors and on here. So I think that's pretty cool too. And they also do have, um, some pretty decent build quality and that's through the unlocking test one two three and you can see that um as far as the speeds go the uh a03s was a little like a lot quicker when it came to um turning turning on the phone so let's put the phones at full brightness that way we can get an uh, idea how they both look when we're looking at both of these devices let's just do that one more time one two three and one two three oh, that one that time it didn't work or it must have been delayed one two three so uh definitely gonna win when it comes to the overall speeds on the samsung galaxy a23 so now let's just clear the apps out on both of these guys and um what i'm gonna do is like basically just show you which one will open up apps quicker okay so let's do a uh, clock one, two, three. That time it was the Samsung Galaxy 23. Let's do Samsung free. And it was actually, this one showed the screen first, but then this one opened the app first. So let's do uh, Microsoft. Let's try Outlook one, two, three. It was the A3S. A, A03s that time. Let's try um, Twitter. One, two, three. And that time it was the Samsung Galaxy A23. So when it comes to the overall scrolling speeds on both of these guys, they're both going to be pretty sharp when it comes to it. But you're going to get the 90 hertz refresh rate on the Samsung Galaxy A23. So um, let me just turn the display dark so it can match the. Uh, same one on the left and kind of give you an idea of how they both look side by side now i do got the buttons on this one right now but it does also give you gestures too so i just wanted to throw that out there but uh you're gonna see right here you get this really nice 90 hertz refresh rate which looks really good the a03s does look pretty good as well so um, when scrolling speeds you're gonna notice that the A23 actually flies, right? Look at look how quick that is when I'm scrolling, right? Um, the A03S can move pretty decent for a budget phone, but just keep in mind that the scrolling speeds are gonna be a lot better on the A23. So let's just do YouTube one, two, three, and test out the um, displays side by side. So right that that time it actually was the samsung galaxy a23 now when it comes to the displays they're going to be really similar but different 
and I'll explain why in just a second. But right here, you can see that both of these guys are going to look pretty sharp when it comes to the overall viewing experience. OK, so you can see right here that on the Samsung Galaxy A23 at the top, it's got 400 pixels per inch, which is very high density, whereas the A03s has 270, which is medium density. The other difference is that they, the, well, they both have TFT LCD IPS displays at 20 by 9 aspect ratio, but the A23 is going to have 1080 by 2408, whereas the A03s is going to have 720 by 1600 um, HD, full, HD plus, whereas the, um, you know, the A. 23 is going to have full HD plus, right? 6.6 inches on the A23, but only 6.5 inches on the uh, A03s. And they both have the Infinity V displays. So it's going to get much brighter on the A0, on, on the A23 than the A03s. But they both do a really good job. Just better pixels count when it comes to the A. 23 and then that high refresh rate is going to be good for scrolling speeds as well Now taking a look at the back you're going to notice that the a03s has like a textured Material to it which gives it a little bit more grip in the hand um, It's definitely going to be they're both about the same weight when it comes to both of these things But you get more of a glossy texture on the Samsung Galaxy a 23 and you can see the camera configurations on both of these things right and you're going to see that the samsung galaxy a03s is going to have a 13 megapixel with a main cam 13 megapixel main camera 2 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel for portrait and then on the front it's going to have a 5 megapixel whereas the a fit 23 is going to have a 50 megapixel main camera 5 megapixel wide angle 2 megapixel macro 2 megapixel portrait and then an eight megapixel around front. But if you're still rocking with me, just comment down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me real quick. So definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Now the A3, A03S doesn't have, right here I noticed it doesn't have the game, um, it doesn't have that game launcher feature in advanced features. So I just wanna make sure you guys are 100% aware of that. Uh, so that's one of the biggest differences. Uh, the other difference is that when you go up to the top and you look at the notification panel just to con compare the features, you're going to see that we, we are missing a few of the features like Smart View isn't here on the um, Samsung Galaxy A03s, but we do get Dolby Atmos, which is actually pretty cool. We are missing the secure folder um, as well as, uh, you know, both of these things won't have, well, I'm pretty sure they won't have screen recorder. But, you know, what I'm saying you can download the app for that. So I just want to mention that. But that right out of the box, they're not going to have that. But uh, you won't you also will be missing this labs feature, which gives you the ability to actually, um, you know, use this device with multi screen window on any phone on, on any um, app. But they don't have that on the A03s. So that's another feature. And then also the NFC feature is uh, not on here, but it's on the, um, you know what I'm talking about? It's on the A23, but it's just not on the um, Samsung Galaxy A03s. So we don't got NFC on this thing. So I uh, did, did also know this, that we do get Wi-Fi calling on the A23 as well, which is really solid. So just, just keep in mind those additional features that you might be, be missing out on if you pick the a uh, 03s versus the a23 but the cool part about having game launcher is that it gives you these quick instant games on your device that you can just pick up and go um, and it has a ton of them so there's just it makes it really fun to play with because uh, you get so many cool fun games that you could just kind of mess around with um, if you did one um, mess around with the, the game launcher um, quick play apps, which is cool, but we're gonna jump into the performance and kind of compare these devices And then we're gonna compare the cameras and also the batteries and then we're gonna wrap up the video So the a23 a03s is gonna have the helio p35. It's in smooth and medium graphics um, So it's gonna be just decent, but you do get a power VR GE um, 8320 on here for as far as the uh, GPU so, you know, it's going to be pretty decent. 
Um, overall, you're going to get some pretty decent gaming out of here because it does have three gigabytes of RAM coupled with 32 gigabytes of um, storage. And um, it's going to be, there's going to be a little bit of lag, but it's not going to be the most smoothest um, performance that you've ever experienced. But you will be able to actually game on here, you know, because uh, it just is, it's pretty optimized pretty well for a budget phone. So you can get some pretty decent gaming on here. You can see right here, I'm trying to get first blood or whatever, but you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's, it's pretty decent. It's just not going to be as high end as far as the graphics when you compare it to the A23. And I'm going to show you in just a second, right? But you are able to get first blood and things of that nature. Now the A23 does give you smooth and high graphics. So you actually can get a little bit better performance on this one. You're going to notice the frame rates are a little bit smoother. It's going to be a little bit cleaner when it comes to the overall gaming. Obviously, you, you can draw first blood if you're um, just so you can compete a little bit or whatever. Um, so I just want to show you that you can compete. Um, you know, what I'm saying that he did have the shoddy, so it's kind of hard to compete with that one, one gunner stunner. But as you can see right here, you know what I'm saying? It, it does perform pretty well. Um, like I said, it's not going to be the best one in the world because I noticed that the, uh, it, it, you know, <laughs> that was crazy. I left them in the air. But um, like I said, it's going to be able to game really well on here. Now, one feature about the A23 that the A03S doesn't have is this feature called Enhanced Processing, which is going to make the apps run quicker, right? And so the this guy doesn't have it. It didn't get that, that option yet. So I just want to throw that out there that you won't have that option. And when you compare the software on both of these guys, I'm going to jump into the cameras in just a second. So make sure you stay to the end of the video, right? Also, when you go into the memory of both of these devices and just click memory, right? You're going to notice that both of these things do give you the, you get the RAM plus on this one, but on the A03S, I noticed that I didn't get the RAM plus on there. So I just want to mention that you won't get the RAM plus feature on there. And as far as the software, I am running May 1st, 2022 on the A23, but on the Samsung Galaxy A03S, I'm running on April 1st, 2022. So as far as the camera features, we are getting portrait mode, photo mode, uh, video, which is all the same. And then more, when you go into more, you're going to see that we got, um, let me see. You get pro mode on here, panorama food, macro, and hyperlapse. You get pro mode, panorama food. You get night mode on here and slow motion. So I just want to mention that you do get those additional features on the um, Samsung Galaxy A23, the night mode and the slow motion, right? So we're jumping into the cameras right here. Um, let me just get out of here real quick. So you could flip it. They both were going to record in 1080, right? But let's just go to the portrait mode and just do a quick comparison if on, I have it on four for both. So let me do a photo of this guy on the 803S. So I did take that photo. Now I'm going to take the same exact photo on the Samsung Galaxy A23. All right, so let's just compare these things. Obviously the Samsung Galaxy A23 is gonna have the 50 megapixel and we do get the 20, the 50 megapixel on the A23. So um, 
say both actually did a really good job better colors on the a23 but um, it looks like more realistic on the a03s so the a samsung galaxy a3s does have um, really good cameras right um, it just doesn't have that night mode like the a23 I'm just doing it one more time because I noticed the A23's photo was a little bit blurry. So you can see for, right now for yourself that the more details and better colors on the A23, it's just going to be a little bit more sharper and more realistic when it comes to the overall quality on there. So no wrapping it up. As far as the battery, they both got 5,000 milliamp hour battery cells, but just keep in mind the 90 hertz refresh rate will eat a little bit more battery up and it has 400 pixels per inch compared to the 2670 on this guy so it's definitely going to last longer on the samsung galaxy a03s when it comes to battery but let me know what you guys think about both of these devices i definitely think they're both pretty solid but obviously the samsung galaxy a23 is a little bit more powerful when it comes to cameras gaming and um screen resolution as well as like screen performance but i'm going to get right back with you i'm going to show up in the comment section answer your questions but in the meantime make sure you have a great morning afternoon evening and depending where you are have a great night later crew peace